This tutorial that I'm doing today is on how to merge um, MIDI files together. Looking for a way of doing that for a project that I'm working on. So I went to Google and basically typed how to merge MIDI files and uh, um, got several hits. Understanding they really didn't know what I was looking for how to merge them gave me several options here's a how to merge digital programming many of them thought I wanted to take it to mp3 so I had to get more specific I wanted to actually take two existing MIDI file bin hex type files and uh, put them together and I came across this one guy who was in the forum and he basically said you could use cakewalk and I thought, I have Cakewalk. I actually have this edition here, and uh, um, which is a program I've had for a long time. And it's Cakewalk Express 8.04. And uh, um, I said, okay, at least I'm that far. I can do the trick. So I got into it, opened up a cake, new Cakewalk file, and just went with the normal setting set OK and it opens up a new file and I went ahead and opened that all the way up and uh, since I wanted to save it as a MIDI file I went ahead and did that right on did a save as function and find a place to save it let's do that in an easy spot since I'm trying to take some MIDI files some chants and uh, um, tie them all together. That's what I'm going to call this one here. Chance. And give it something I can find it by later on. And that would work. And change the file type. And I'm going to use a MIDI uh, format one. And do a save. And I'll take my first file, and the way you do this is uh, um, just go to your archive, look for something, and uh, uh, I'll take these. I've got a bunch of these here. Make it so it's easy for me to see all of them in the file, and there they are. And these are the ones I'm going to be using. Okay. So you can take these files and just put them here so I'll just grab this one drag and drop put it right in my first track right at the beginning and drop it that simple that's the first one I'll go ahead and save it but what's critical is that I go ahead and select by clicking that was a control click on the track numbers of the track uh, it basically it selects them. The reason I want to do this, I want to open up a a, um, a staff window, for which, which for this file is the third button on this particular tool on the toolbar, and it has a staff note on it, and it brings up a staff. Now I want to tile the windows, and I use a roll tile, so now I can actually see what's going on and uh, to unselect that just go to the next track but you can see these two staffs here represent this staff down here I shrunk the size I'll go here up here and uh, let's see should be able to increase the size this is the button right here so you can see the notes a little bit easier now in order to make this work, I'll go up here to the play, here's what it sounds like. And then playing it. Didn't have my MIDI keyboard turned on, that's where it plays out up. I think you can hear that. Okay. So that's that. It's in there, it plays goes across the staff, 
if you look at it, I'm at the end of the staff. I hit the move to the end of the song, and I have the black line that comes up, happens to be at the beginning of measure 20, so that's in place. I'll go and grab the next song here. take it to the score, hover over the spot with the arrow where I want it, and then let it release. Go and check and see if it landed where I wanted it to land, and it did. I can check it. I didn't want to have any spaces between the song. Obviously, you can put it anywhere. If you don't like where it lands on my program, I can go just by hitting this here and hit Control Z it removes it and I can do the same thing all over again grab it again if I didn't want to put it right in the next measure I want it to be like four measures out I can just go and try to point at that spot and drop it one two three four I hit it accurately and it landed and uh, um, if I don't want it like that and I don't I can undo it by control Z again and just do the process all over again. How many can you do at one time? Well, I did try to do more than one at a time. Grab four of them, come, point, drop. It basically say, says, can only do one at a time. Well, if you know somebody from Cakewalk, ask, us to, ask them to let us do more than one at a time. That would really be quick for me and helpful. But you can only do one at a time. And here's how long it takes to do one point, you got a steady hand or a good mouse control, it lands, go ahead and punch it to the end of the song, and if you want to see what it looks like on staff wise, you got to adjust that so it's back in the middle of the screen, I'll grab the next one, point, drop, and it did leave a space here, which is the rest here. So, just to show you what it might sound like, I'll go and move the staff here, play the end of that song so you can hear it. And then move down here. So how many can you do at a time? Well, so far I've tagged um, 300 MIDI files together by just this process. And then I do at the end you do a save. I just click the save button. And just to make sure it changed formats for me, it did. So that's done. So I'll go ahead and close that up see how well I did go find the file I remember where I put it found it go and drag it drop it this is the file complete it adds all the extra stuff that you might want on it um, and that's it and it ends up being a much larger file and just to show you uh, that it indeed is something functional. I'll go ahead and open up the, the program. I use Finale uh, 2012 to do a lot of stuff. So I'll grab Finale, bring it to the screen, grab my file, drag and drop it. Since it was a large file, it took a while to come up. Uh, I'll tell the MIDI files since MIDI 3, tracks become stabs, and uh, uh, depends on how I had set it up. They all come in, and the notes are here. And uh, um,
so it's there and it ended up being three pages that I tagged together and each one of the songs in here and uh, and I think it actually for whatever reason put a lock between the files and that's easy to undo that but that would be another video so you can indeed tie them together if you wanted to have I'm sure I don't know what the limit might be probably I, depends on how many you can actually put into cakewalk and I do have other versions of cakewalk that I use for other things like sonar you might be able to do it in that also I just haven't tried that but how do you merge too many files or more together that's how you do it